This morning, growing backlash over a Tennessee school board's decision to ban a Pulitzer Prize winning book about the Holocaust. The graphic novel, Mouse, by Art Spiegelman, tells the true story of how his parents survived the Holocaust, with the victims depicted as mice and the Nazis as cats. The McMinn County School Board voted unanimously to remove Mouse from its eighth grade curriculum, describing it as too adult-oriented due to its unnecessary use of profanity and nudity and its depiction of violence and suicide. It's really quite stunning when we know that people are bound to repeat the histories of the past that they don't learn from them. Banning a book in this way, it's robbing our young people of knowledge. If your child doesn't know the difference between a word that's not appropriate to say in public and not, then that's a, that's a thing that a parent should be having with the student. The school district's decision making headlines with anti-Semitic crimes on the rise up 12 percent last year. Earlier this month, four people, including a rabbi, were held hostage at a synagogue in Texas. And a recent survey found only 45 percent of Americans know how many Jews were killed by the Nazis. Six million. Education is the antidote to ignorance, whether it's about the Holocaust or any other issue. The Tennessee School Board says it's working to find other age-appropriate books and says the board members do not diminish the value of Mouse as an impactful and meaningful piece of literature, nor do we dispute the importance of teaching our children the historical and moral lessons and realities of the Holocaust. The U.S. Holocaust Museum denounced the Mouse ban, saying the book plays a vital role in educating people about the Holocaust. Mona, Rhiannon. Andrew, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.